Welcome back, this is still Tin Time and of course I'm still here with my amazing personality in the building and I'm talking about Miles the 8th wonder of the world Oshie, Oshie, and Oshie. Lord Mercury X Okay, yeah What's the X? <laughs> What's the X? Lord Mercury oh, Instagram is, is the Mercury X? Okay, yeah. so I should just say Lord Mercury. Mercury Thank you Oh, sorry. If right. I just if I just cook my put Q for my own name save now or <laughs> or B. No, it's because the name has. What's your Instagram handle? What's your business? You want to go and be stocky? No, so that she can call everything fully. Yeah, don't worry. Ah, she can say we have miles for one one. Okay, guys. I'm still in the music um scene now. Mm. We're talking about Ashake work of art. Mm. 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 <laughs> Nigerian superstar Ashake released his second album, Work of Art, by um, YBNL, um, YBNL yes, Nation Empire. Now, the 14-track album includes the previously released singles 230, 30. Yoga, and the latest single, Ama Piano, which includes the album's lone future, Olamide. Now, the release of the album comes on the heels of the breakout of, you know, his um, other albums. Oh, okay. Yeah. And now um, the superstar is reaching a career of milestone cool. of over 1.7 billion streams mm. and counting. Now, Work of Art is the follow-up of Ashake's debut album, Mr. Mr. Money, Money with, with the, the vibes, vibes, which was released on September 7th, 2022. It set, um, it set the record for becoming the highest charting Nigerian debut album of all time, wow. reaching one in over 30 countries on Apple Music, including the UK, Nigeria, Ireland, Ghana, and more. He was the first ever African artist to reach number one on the UK Apple Music Albums chart with the release, which has now been streamed over 780 million times world. I want to feel it. And this album is not up to two weeks. It's not up, it's not up to two, two weeks. weeks. Um, this album, should, okay, let, let, let me let Mr. I make you the X. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I mean, it's, it, um, I, I feel like Ashake has different dimensions to him. Mm. Look, at, look at this song now, Yuga. Yuga, Yuga. I, I, like I, I feel like that, that song was one of. I did not expect anything like that. I, I, I think that was the, that, I think that was the idea. It, it, it also reminds me of when uh, what's this girl's name, Tenny, when mm. she dropped uh, Yomeo. Yeah. Nobody was expecting Nobody something, expected like, something, yeah, something so. like that. So that song just made me like Ashake to an extent. You know, that's why I said, okay, I think this guy does good music. I think I can vibe with him. I think I can mm. listen to his music. You know, so yeah, his songs from the beginning, what I felt, my own personal opinion. Right. You know, what I felt was his his, his beats were almost the same. Right. All his beats. Yeah, he works he works he, he works with just one person. So from the beginning. I think so later on he did yoga. I was like, okay, this is new. And he did Ama Piano. And I was like, okay, then 230. Uh -huh. like, okay. So now I feel like he's doing pretty well com compared to when he started, my mm -hmm. opinion, mm -hmm. pretty well compared to when he started, and and this is a big one for him because he's he's really blown up really yeah, fast, really, 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 really fast, really fast, and he's dropping back to back. Yes, last year, just last year, just last year. And no, but funny enough, he's been a, he's been around before last year. Yeah, yeah, he dropped. There was this song. What's that? His song. Uh, uh, um, it, um, no, no, Amapai um, um, was the one everybody knew. There was a battle song that was really popular, but a lot of people didn't know mm. it, was, it was Ashake. So, uh, is it your money? Can I be oh, your money? Yeah. That was Ashake. Wow. wow. That was Ashake. Wow. One, uh, uh, me, I know the cap. Oh, me, I know the form. My yeah. energy is uh, what the. Oh, wow. Mr. Wow. Money, can I be your... Uh -huh. That was Ashake. Wow. So a lot of people didn't know. But people got to know him when he sang. That's the quick in my lesson. Yeah, uh -huh. you know, Olamide hopped on it. So I think that was what blew him. Ah. Oh, yeah. Anyways, work of art for me is actually truly a work of art. I, I've been listening to the album all through since like two days. Uh, it's been on repeat on my phone. Like Now, what I like with this particular album is the fact that he went really lyrical on it. If you are somebody who speaks Yoruba, you understand it, Yoruba language a lot. He was really deep with his words. He, you see, his lyrical prowess on this particular album for me is what works for me. I listen to him like, what? Can you, I guess listen to what this guy is saying. Now, the production, it still has some of that I'm a piano here and there infusing it, but it's not as, it's not as deep as the previous album, which is uh, Mr. Morning with the Vibe. Uh, the Amapiano was still there, and he made use of a lot of violins. 
a lot of violins, a lot, yes, a lot of violins, a lot of choir singing in the background. It was it's just an amazing al uh, album for me. Like I can't even forward. I played it from beginning to the end. Like I don't see anything. I can't no. say I don't like this one. Remove yeah. this one. I don't, nah, I like all of them. Even yoga that I didn't really like initially. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I on my way. I listen. I was like, okay, you know what? This song is actually growing on me gradually. So it's it's a really good album. It's an amazing album. It's a right time. He dropped it at the exact right time because people were wondering, like, okay, guy, yeah, what's happening? Alpha. Yeah. Alpha. Now. Like, after yeah. my piano, I, okay, my piano, people were already saying, and my piano sounded like one of these other, I mean, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Did you get it? Like, <laughs> like, don't worry, I got, I got something for y'all. I, I feel like it's, it's, it's a discussion of is, is Ashake going to be like Olamide? In what, in what sense, please? So there was a time that Olamide was dropping. Every single, like almost every other day, okay. He's dropping a song, he's dropping a song, okay. Ashake started like that, so he was dropping a song, dropping right. a song. So I was having this conversation with someone, and I was like, The way he's going, he's walking towards that particular part. <coughs> now yeah. he has blown up. Yeah, there was a time too, Olamde was like almost everywhere, people were singing his songs mm. everywhere, but now he's not like that anymore. It's not like that because he's not releasing songs back to back. Yeah. So people, there's there's this there's this discussion of is it is he going to follow in that light, or is he going to create his own path? Because obviously, though, yes, he has his own niche, he has his own sound. Yeah, mm. that's the word. He has his own sound. Afro food. <laughs> he has his own sound, but I feel like it's still Yoruba. It's still towards somewhat towards Olamide's kind mm. of music. I don't know. I I. I don't know. Okay, you know, one thing with uh, YBNL, that's all I mean, is the fact that if you sign under his label, mm. you'll be there for just two years. After two years, he lets you go. Mm. After two years, he, he turns you into that global brand that he wants you to be. Mm. Then after two years, you can go, your, you're going to be on your own now. You can stand on yourself by yourself. I'm seeing by the end of this year, mm. my, mm. the, the contract might be over. Like, okay, you have to go, go and stand on your own. Go and start your own label. Same thing happens to Victor. Same thing happens to Lil Cash. Same thing happens to Deco Lil Gold. Everybody, just two, three years, and you find that they blow up, boom. Okay, go and start your thing and do your thing. So while he's with the label now, I think all this, let's let's make as much money as we can with this. We've invested, yes, yes, I think so too. Let's make, make as much money, make as much noise with the YBNL brand so that by the time you're on your, by yourself, it'll be easier for you to just stand. Yeah. If you notice, Lil Kesh also did the same thing. While Lil Kesh was with uh, uh, Olamide, he was already projecting, he was already projecting the Yagi mm. record, Young, uh, young uh, and Getting It. Yagi, that's his own record label. And he was already saying, ah, Yagi, he was already saying, Mr. Yagi, Yagi, already before he moved. So by the time he moved and started his own record label, it was easy for him to uh, get the acceptance. But I don't know, I don't know what's going on with Lil Kesh, by the way. Exactly. Well, like, I've not seen anything. Because Lil Kesh is a very brilliant rapper. Yes. Yeah. Like, he's a very brilliant, you know, he started doing Afro beats too, all in the name yes, of, exactly. I have to, I have to do what they're doing. Yeah. He's a very, very brilliant rapper. And we've not heard anything from this guy, Lighter. Uh, well, well, why not? Lighter, there's, 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 no, there's no gas inside his lighter. Inside light. <laughs> so, so maybe <laughs> when it gets when light inside light lighter, but hof <laughs> hopefully, I think he has he has a new song. I think there's a new song of his I saw somewhere. Was it featuring Possible? No, it, wasn't, it wasn't Impossible. Possible. Uh, why you you, you yeah, once this one here put the name like this, she was just happy. Anyway, I think he has a new song, but I don't know how well that is doing. But yeah, Lisa also has a very nice voice. Mm -hmm. But sometimes it's just uh, the packaging, the artistry, and the, the business the business part of it. A lot of people don't understand the business part of the music. Like yes, music is this is my talent. I can. What about the business part of it? Part of Who's going to help you project that business part while you just focus on being the artist? Focus on being the uh, the one that just puts the songs down and creates it and let somebody just handle You can't do everything yourself. I think this advice for people who are like upcoming artists, so everybody just wants they to... They agree. Everybody they're just wants upcoming to artists, they believe, they believe they, they know everything. They know everything. I know. But this is... Um, what This question I want to ask is like... Yeah. A outside, yeah. oh. uh, it's about portable. Please, what uh, what music? Uh, this is it? street hop. <laughs> <laughs> street hop is Afro street. Afro street. Because when you ah! <laughs> Afro Wahala. When you said portable, I, I was so many things in my I was like, okay, what exactly does he? What kind of music does he even do? Mm. Anyways, well, work of art for me on 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 final note, work of art for me is, is a beautiful album. I love it. I'm, I'm, it's it, honestly for me. Yeah. I don't know about anybody, but it was really it was good. The production was on point. Yeah, everything That's it. Works. Yeah, it was good. Um, it was good. You've not listened to everything finish. Yes. It's obvious. Uh, <laughs> so go and listen to it. Let's have this conversation again. Okay. 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 Now, still on Afrobeat because I think that's what is trending. Ah, uh, it's beating us. Yeah. Now, um, veteran actress Omotola oh. Jalade. 
has pointed out that um, way before Afrobeat, mm. Nollywood, you know, introduced Nigeria to the world, introduced um, entertainment, Nigerian entertainment scene to the world. Now, the actress stressed um, this point on her Instagram page while posting some clips from her, some of her epic movies she had featured in many years ago. Someone sent me some of these videos it's and it was nostalgic. Um, nostalgic. Now, LOL. Despite the um, despite the not so great quality, no social media, um, these movies broke mm. barriers mm. way before Afrobeat. Mm. We introduced Nigerian entertainment to the world. world. That's what she said. Mm. Um, hmm. right, okay, so who wants to, who wants to dig in first? Because to me, my mouth is itching me to, <laughs> my mouth is itching me to dig into this. Go first. From, I, see, I'm, I'm not, <laughs> I'm in between. All oh, right, right. Yeah, um, Nigerian movie, um, Nollywood, let right. me not say Nigerian movie. Nollywood back then was a very, was a hit back then. Mm. We had the likes of, um, um, Rita Domini, like, you know, uh, her, like we mm -hmm. had those people, and it was sent to be. It was just at that point, mm -hmm. Nollywood was hitting big old, but it was not really as global as Afrobeat hmm. is now. Hmm. Do you get now? We've now, if you look at the Nollywood um, industry now, we've now we have more international partners. Mm. Coming into like they want to partner with Nollywood to mm. create movies. Mm. We have um, Netflix. We have you know Prime, uh, Prime Video mm. and mm. likes coming like they want to partner with um, um, you know Nollywood. Mm. Now she said something. No social media then and all. Eh, even with even mm. if there was social media or there was no social media, I just feel like the movies then they were making was not really. That hmm. yeah, yeah. That's okay, so I'll, I'll I'll pick up from what you said, saying hmm. that no social media then. Yes, there was no social media then. Well, there was there were about boys then, you know. And then hmm. the the production of all these movies were helped by these guys, you mm -hmm. know, to spread. People literally sell sell movies on the on the on the traffic. You know, hmm. you're driving your car and the people are selling to you. You know, so I feel um the Nollywood industry coming coming from when they started, it's. It has been strong, really strong. I mean, it got to a point where you could literally, I heard, I heard of something that you, you could literally produce, they literally produce like 100 movies in a month ah. with different <coughs> people. <coughs> because people... They, I don't know about that one, because, but because, I, I get what you're, because, your point. Yeah, because I feel, to an extent, I, I was watching an interview with past Nollywood like producers. And right. You can say they produce a movie in two days or three days. Well, I, Compared to five now days, where, actually, yeah. Compared to now, where you can use a one week month or two weeks or even a month, or a you year, know, so. yeah, to produce in Nigeria a year. Yes, now it's the, a only if it's a seasonal movie. Or a there's series. a current movie that they are a using movie. a year. One movie. Yes. What's the name? Of the movie? No, it's free as that. I cannot be advertising. Oh. Yeah. If it's a movie, not a series. It's a movie. A year. Yes. Okay. We'll have the conversation later. Okay. So this, this, I feel like they've been doing well. They've been doing well, but comparing it with Nigerian um, Afro beats now is, I feel like it's an unfair comparison because I mean now we have social media, now we have the internet, we have all of all these things. They didn't have that then. So I think if you want to compare, if you compare it with Afro beats, then you know I think that should be able to stand up to par. I feel if you are going to do that, only would stand a clear advantage. I think what she's saying is this. What she said is this because I I agree, I agree with what both, both of you said. She said before the advent of. Afrobeat to the global world that Nollywood was the one that introduced Nigeria yeah. to the global world. Anyway, yeah, you know what I mean? Mm. That in the sense that I agree with that hundred percent. What where, what was an Afrobeat? Is that the name of a place, animal, or thing? Like Afrobeat was just there. Nollywood was huge. Nollywood was look, I was sending CDs, I was I was making money while I was in uni. I was sending sending CDs to United to, to United Kingdom to my mom and her friends. I was selling, they were buying movies like crazy. I was making a lot of money. Right, people were demanding for all these things. Like, oh, please, we want this, we want that. People were watching. Now, don't you guys don't you know, say, hey, I know there was no social media. Do you know what social media has done for y'all? Like, put social media way back in that time and see what these, these guys would have done. Without the social media, they, they, they did magic. So, please, don't even so, social remove social media from now and let's see how many of the so called Afro Beatians and uh, Gen Zizians. Let's see how you know, let's see how you guys will actually thrive. Let's see how you guys will do. 
without social media. Take that, that privilege away from you people and see what will happen. And you see how crippled people will become. And you see how frustrated a lot of people will become like, how am I going to get my stuff? Baba, we're walking. We go trek, go... There was not even phone. There was not even, there, was not, there was not even phone to call. So I'm, I'm coming to your house, come on. There was no phones. Bruh, we, everything was done manually. You, you, you put in the work. So I agree with her 120% that Nollywood, yes, did advertise or did uh, uh, expose the Nigerian entertainment market to the global world. 100% all I, I the would, way. I would not agree. No, I would not agree. Okay. I would agree My maybe somewhat like 50%. Because I yeah. feel like... Um, it, to some selected people, yes, as you mentioned, in the UK and all of all those things, yes, to some selected people. But there are some countries, I was watching a couple of um, videos, mm -hmm. that some countries do not know, did not even know Nigeria as a country until they heard songs from, from Nigeria. Yes, even Bill Gates said it when he was there. They don't that know one. that there is a country, they Nigeria. don't know that there is a country called Nigeria until they started hearing songs. And they said, ah, this person... What countries, what countries are these? T please, let's, let's start. What countries? From, there's, there's some like, in Australia. I was, I was watching a video. Someone in Australia, New Zealand. Um, which other country again? So, countries that way, they did not know some people there. I'm not generalizing it. Right. So I'm saying, I watched some videos that people there say they did not know people... They didn't know that there was a country like that until they heard okay. songs from my... Uh, good for you, good for you. Yes, but I do agree with uh, Omotola. Um, and I do think these people from Nollywood... I, I'm talking about the old generation of Nollywood now. I'm not talking about uh, the ones that are doing in the in this nonsense now. Like, yeah, some of them are actually no, doing very no. well. I'm some of them. I do believe that they should be given their flowers 100%. They should be given their, they should be given their respect because yeah. they did a lot. Did well. Even the musicians of then, before the streaming yeah, farms, the streaming true, platforms, true. and they put in the work. True. Yeah, so true. please, I beg. Now that you can just record a whole song on your phone and produce everything, yeah, then oh god, they mm. post on Spotify. Mm. Like that, that's what is there. <laughs> Anyways, <laughs> I, I, in as much as I don't want the show to end because I'm enjoying myself, but well, yeah, yeah we, got, we, <laughs> we have to go. But this is where we draw the curtain for today. Thank you as always for joining the conversation mm -hmm. on social media. Please join the conversation rather on social media with the hashtag C time. And remember, you can catch up on all our previous episodes, including this very one on our exclusive content by subscribing to our YouTube channel at Plus TV Africa Lifestyle. You can also watch the Tea Time um, crew on R2 TV and in London on Ben Television and Star Times Channel 308 and DSTV Channel 408. A very big thank you goes to my Cool yeah, 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 yeah. 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 TGIF, TGIF, let's go have a, let's go have a beautiful, let's go have a beautiful Friday. Yes, yeah, democracy. Yeah. Uh. And to all the production team, I want to say a very big thank you. Your girl Uime is out. Put that, yeah, 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 ye